Hello, welcome to Computer Music's preview of F Expansion's Bloom, their new creative delay and reverb plugin. The review will be in issue 191, but here we're just going to take a tour of the controls and hear some of the sounds it can make. First thing to note about Bloom is that it's got three modeling algorithms digital, bucket brigade delay, and tape delay, all offering different style of delay and, and different sounds. The first knob next to the, next to the, uh, the selection knob for those uh, varies depending on which one you got selected, but essentially it can be thought of as a kind of uh, sort of general tone and quality control. So digital you get, it's called digital delay here. It goes from, ranges from 24 bit down to eight bit, but it's actually, it, there's some sample rate reduction going on in there as well. So it's not just a bit crush it. I'll put the mix up a bit so you can hear it better. And here it goes, some pretty dirty. To pristine. For the bucket brigade delay, it's a stages control going from 4096 to 256 stages. And again, getting pretty nasty at the lowest setting, in a good way, of course. And much smoother at the top. Tape delay becomes an age control, so you can have uh, an emulation of brand new tape all the way down. Very old. Slew control next to that controls the smoothness of any delay time adjustments, either manually or via the modulation system. So if you have it all the way down, changes are quite stepped. All the way up and it becomes much, much smoother, as you can hear. Then over here we have the bog standard feedback control with which to get your dub on. to normality. Down here we have the we have three effectively sort of stereo controls. Uh, the offset with the delay time between the left and right channels. Giving quite a hard stereo effect at the extremes. Width is a stereo width control. Dialing back to mono at zero. And crossfeed is a crossfeed control between the left and right channels. Diffusion Network is Bloom's reverb and it's very easy to use clearly and sounds fantastic.
four more effects are on board. Um, we got the mix set very high just so you can so you can hear the effects that they're having clearly. Envelope shaping is a transient designer, transient shaping algorithm. So over to the left, attack transients in the signal are, are, are pushed up, while the decay portions are suppressed somewhat. And over to the right, the opposite happens. So the decay comes out more and the attack transients are, are pushed back. Then we have a frequency shifter. Chorus. Drive. Not the most aggressive drive in the world. certainly sounds good. And a couple of filters, a low pass. And a high pass. Okay, let's look at the, these central controls here. Switch your delay time between milliseconds and beats, so it's synced either you know, it's synced or unsynced. Stereo mode and ping pong mode. Negative and positive feedback and freeze. Grabbing the delay signal, the wet signal, and just freezing it until you switch back out. And finally, run the whole thing in reverse. Expansion's transmod system is built into Bloom as it has been all of the more recent plugins. Uh, it's an excellent and very easy to use um, modulation system whereby pretty much any parameter on the plugin can be easily set up to be controlled by these modulation sources. So, a pair of LFOs, an envelope follower, sample and hold module, a noise generator, three sequences, which we'll come back to, uh, velocity and pitch MIDI controllers, and random for just generating random values using it's very very easy. Select your modulation source here, so we'll start with we'll go for LFO1. Move the mouse pointer to the collar of the control you want to adjust. You can see the little dot disappears from the middle of it and set your range. You get visual feedback of the modulation. The control itself will still be moved and the modulation range will, will travel with it. The LFOs themselves are also very flexible. And can be synced or unsynced, of course, as you would expect. Fantastic system. So the three step sequences. By default, they're just three sequences that can be applied to anything you like here. So.
let's uh, modulate the feedback with it as well, which means we'll have two modulation sources being applied to the feedback, and you'll see the effect. Slew smooths out the progression from step to step, and you can't actually see it. It's not, it's not, it's not drawn in to the graphics, but you can hopefully hear the effect it has. Three step sequences also each have a dedicated function. So the first one enables you to set synced delay times per, for each step, as you can see, pretty straightforward. And this overrides the delay time knob, obviously. Also, each one has a, a, a drunk setting, which adds a bit of random backwards and forwards movement while still generally progressing forwards, and a random button that sets up a random set of steps. Second one controls the freeze function. So that's everything frozen. That's the delay running as normal. Combination of the two. Essentially it's flipping the um, liquid and freeze switch. Final one does the same, but for the reverse function. Finally, we've got an EQ and routing section. There are two EQs, uh, one part of the effects block here between the um, overdrive and low pass filter, and another one on the final output. They both share the same set of frequency controls, but the gains can be set per band per EQ. So you could say, push the mids up in the effects block and then pull them out again at the output. So over for the, to the routing section, the reverb can be placed before the delay. After the effects block, Or at the final output. And the effects chain can be placed before the feedback, in the feedback, so that only the feedback signal itself is being processed by the effects, or after the feedback. So that's Bloom, as you can uh, see in here, it sounds fantastic, it's pretty easy to use, um, and it's uh, packed with features. Let's finish up by going through some of the presets.
What? <laughs>